everybody I want you to check out my friends over at Westminster Effects custom guitar pedals They're very humorous. They make me laugh. All right, so go check them out You might enjoy them even if you don't play guitar Maybe buy one for a friend or a relative or maybe one in the same because relatives can be friends Just depending on who it is. Uh, basically, it's all relative Okay, now it's time to get to the review. It's gonna be a good one. everybody, so a few weeks ago I reviewed a show that would scar me for the rest of my life. It was a children's program called Donkey Ali Journey to Jerusalem. You can check that out, it's probably popping up on the screen somewhere. So if you remember, that episode left us with a cliffhanger. After seeing Jesus die on the cross for the sins of the entire world, Donkey Ali lost his will to live, so he was starving himself to death. You know, for kids. That's where they left us. So as much as I never wanted to subject my eyes to this monstrosity again, ever since I did that review, it's been festering in my mind and I can't stop thinking about whether Donkey Ali dies or not. Plus, I didn't want to let you guys down. We got to find out what happens to him, I'm sure. There's only one way to do that, and that's to review the next episode, right? right. Let's jump right into it. This is my review of Donkey Ali, episode two, Road to Damascus. A lot of roads to places in this show. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> ah, yes, the classic Donkey Ali song. Have you heard the story about the Donkey Ali? And to answer your question, Song, yes, I have heard the story of Donkey Ali. He was the donkey that carried Jesus into Jerusalem. But why, you're not telling me that this one donkey has connections to other biblical characters, are you? What are the odds? I love that this intro is always flying through space. Like, why? I guess it's so that the show can kick off with this incredibly zoomed out placement shot. Once upon a time, somewhere on Earth. Just in case you wondered where the story was taking place. Hi there, I'm Donkey Ollie. We know, you already told us. <laughs> there are times when I've been afraid. Were one of those times whenever you lost your will to live? But I've learned to have trust and to look at the positive things in life. I've been watching a lot of Oprah. That's right, Ollie. What the? That's right, that's right, that's right, Ollie. Last time, Ollie was unmercifully teased by his brothers. Oh, we remember. <laughs> Don't you worry. He was selected to take Jesus into Jerusalem. I'm sure he's the one. This is the first time I've noticed that Jesus only has four fingers. All four fingers. But when Jesus was crucified, Ollie was so sad he wouldn't eat. Elizabeth prayed for him, but nothing. Seem to uh. I know you're sad about Jesus. We all are. But at least we got Barabbas. But please, I'll be even sadder if you die. Hold on, are you telling me that you'll be more sad when a donkey dies than when Jesus died? And if you don't eat, you will die. I'll make sure of it. Here's some carrots. I but know just you as you think Donkey Ali has one hoof in the grave, a miracle of miracles, who should appear before us? Oh! A literal Dios ex machina. What a cop out. This isn't what happened last week. Have you all got amnesia? They just cheated us. This isn't fair. Eat my little one and weep no more. Eat my little one. Eat my little one. Eat my little one. Eat my little one. That's right, Roy. Then not one minute in, we get our first song. In my father's house. <laughs> Jesus has got some pipes. There are many one single tear. Wipe those tears. <laughs> Jesus performs a little magic. Let your heart oh. your what the? I don't remember this part in the Bible. Wait, I think I remember hearing something about like during the three days Jesus was dead, he apparently went down into hell. Uh, this must be that place. Ali was now ready for his next adventure. Now that we appeased the hardcore fans who would get upset if we didn't wrap up that little cliffhanger there. But much more happened to Ali than he had bargained for. Meanwhile, also on Earth... Ali was the bravest donkey everybody knew of. Are you sure? That's a pretty bold statement. I mean, have you met all the donkeys in the world? Wow, I, I wonder how Donkey Ali feels about this dog upstaging him. I mean, like, animation-wise. So anyway, we're hanging out in the field with Jehu, the little crippled boy from the last episode. So so and he's just falling all over the place. Boy, my life is terrible. I mean, look at all those other people getting to run. And all I got is this dumb crutch. Well, apparently Jehu's family are sick of him getting depressed out in the field. So they decide to strap up Donkey Ali and take Jehu to their one last resort. There, Ollie. Now you're all ready. Now you can feel what it's like to carry a cross on your back. Aren't you a little young to be going to Jerusalem? <laughs> 
look, Kevin. Now just leave her alone, John. Yeah, John, you're a real Jack. You know Rebecca's meeting her at the crossroads. Besides, Ollie's already been there and he knows the way pretty well. She won't get lost. John, you're always being an idiot. Here, give me a hand with little Jehu. Ah, my leg! There you go. Kiss. We'll Air be home kiss. soon, Daddy. Don't worry about me. Come on, Ollie, let's go. <laughs> Uh, no, no, not another song, please! No wonder the theme song is always asking if you've heard the story because uh, you might have missed it because they spend next to no time on the actual story. About us. We'll be back real soon. <laughs> ah. Oh man, I still can't get over this animation. I hoped a little bit that maybe they would have done a little better. I think that they've just gone cheaper. I mean, these aren't even sing-alongs. This is just like montages. God will hear. They're just saying what's gonna happen in the video. So as predicted by their mother, they meet up with Rebecca at the crossroads and make their way into Jerusalem as the music fades out. I guess we should whisper. Anyway, when they arrive at Jerusalem, they have a hard time getting through the crowd to see Stephen speaking. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they couldn't get through the crowd to where Stephen was speaking. Hey! Ali helped push them through. As you can clearly see in the video. But Donkey Ali isn't the only one pushing his way through the crowd. Oh. Men of Israel, God always accompanies his word with signs and wonders. Every time, and if he does it, then don't believe it. Even the blind receive sight and the lame walk. Come on, Ollie. Let's bring Jehu up. He's the lamest character in the show. Oh, it's you, Elizabeth. What have you brought? It's Donkey Ollie. It's my brother Jehu. My mother said you could pray for him. I would love to, but not now. I'm too busy yelling and not breathing between sentences. So now these bad guys start, <laughs> start coming in. Don't look into his eyes. Make way. Or Prince Ali. And these guys, they are evil and well choreographed. <laughs> Boy, this would scare me too. Especially this guy. He's probably pretty freaked out that he sees someone exactly like himself doing this dance routine. <laughs> I have papers to have you arrested for spreading dissension and blasphemy. Please, kind sir, let him pray for my brother first. Then you can kill him. All the way from Bethany. Oh, well, if you've come all the way from Bethany, we'd hate to inconvenience you. Just but then, Stephen attempts to heal him. Little Jehu, jump down. The Lord has healed you. Get off your ass, Jehu. <laughs> It didn't work. So it turns out Jesus' magic won't work unless they sing this song, apparently. Who are these kids? Wait a minute, isn't that their mom? Yeah, it is. What is she doing there? I've always loved you, Frank. And action. Enough of this nonsense. And that line wasn't even part of the script. Away with him. Interesting how these guys are out of focus, like there's depth of field on the lens, but then the background isn't. Maybe the camera has two depths of field. But as this bubblegum haired fella grabs Steven, he knocks JQ off Ollie. <gasps> hey, my legs, they're healed. All right. Oh, wait, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Think God might have healed this guy too much. Now he's a parkour superstar with superhuman strength. <laughs> Mister, don't hurt Steven. My little brother has never been able to walk before. 
Don't you see? It's a miracle. That night, Elizabeth, Rebecca, and Jehu left Ollie in a stable by the inn. Where he was murdered by one of his cellmates. That is a beautiful story, Ollie. Oh my gosh, I think this donkey's having liver failure. Look at his eyes. I just wish God cared about me. What's your name? Benji. Oh, he definitely wouldn't care about someone named Benji. Ollie, say, uh, you're not the donkey that uh, got to carry Jesus, are you? Don't Yes. That Saul's a bad fellow. He treats everyone really bad. Even Is it this Ollie's brother's voice? He... How do you know so much about him? Well, how was his donkey? Like Zoic Scoop. And that's the end of the scene. Oh, oh, oh my. The next oh, morning, crap. Stephen oh, was taken oh, outside the oh. Stone and stoned to death. You know, for kids. Saul went to the stable looking for his donkey. He was heading for Damascus, where he would arrest and kill more followers of Jesus. Uh, what's that guy's hand doing to the donkey? I must be off to Damascus. I'm sorry, but your donkey is nearly lame. What about this one? No, he's pretty lame also. That belongs to some of the guests. Are you questioning an official of the temple? No. <laughs> Saul just turned Asian all of a sudden? Saul took Ali against his will, and they began the long journey to Damascus. He was so sad that his feet began to slide across the ground as if it was made of ice. You small white misfit. Ha! Hurry or my lash will make your behind really sore. That's right, Ali. Now get... As we all know, nothing brings on a guitar solo quicker than a swift lashing. You're white and furry, you better hurry. That's an actual line in a song that somebody wrote down and thought worked. <laughs> what are we doing here? Don't be pokey, okey dokey. You'll take a lash, so move along. I think Paul would be better off walking. <laughs> Ollie was exhausted and ready to collapse under Saul's weight. He called out to God to help him out of his misery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hasn't Donkey Ali used up all of his helps from Jesus? He got saved from the well. He was given food when he lost his will to live. I mean, there's got to be a limit, right? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Careful, Ollie's tears have superpowers. Boy, Ollie's really become quite the drama queen. Wait a minute, I, I just realized. This is where the Holy Spirit shows up and reveals himself to Paul, converting him, who then carries Christianity to the entire world. Donkey Ali made that happen. be gone from God if you die. I think you'd be closer to him, right? In donkey heaven? But apparently God hears Donkey Ali's prayers once again. Whoa! Saul, Saul. Who is it? Why do you persecute me? Well, I, I just, you know. Who is this Lord? I can't see him. Typical atheist. It is I, Jesus. I'm kind of insecure. I haven't voice acted much before. I'm sorry I've been so cruel to you, Ali. Please forgive me. Wow, they can't go two seconds without breaking into some crappy 80s sounding song. So Paul reflects on all the evil that he's done, like stoning Stephen and killing Christians and whipping his donkey. Alright, Mr. Brian Stewart, I, I think you're borrowing a little bit from your previous song. I mean, this sounds a lot like that song that Ali sang in the well, doesn't it? I'm on to you. You can't pull one over on me. So Paul and Ali mend their relationship. Saul was now totally blind. Lucky Saul. <laughs> I wish I was blind right now. They made their way into Damascus to wait for another <laughs> message from Jesus. What kind of hat is this? Saul was taken to the house of Ananias. So the Lord Jesus has sent me here. But first, can you help me get my hands unstuck from your bubblegum hair? So that you might see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Well, I never knew Ananias was such a voodoo master. I can see. It's like scales have been taken off of my eyes. It's like I was never blind in the first place. It's a miracle. At that point, Ali once again 
loses his will to live. No, I'm sure I wish I could go. <laughs> they really try to make these things as depressing as possible, don't they? Maybe your master will come back and rescue <laughs> you. Doobly doobly do. Ali remained in Damascus, more and more homesick for everyone back in Bethany. Will Ali ever get back home? Come back next time and find out. Oh no, another cliffhanger? Come on. What? Uh. Now it's time once again for Farmer John's Corner. Farmer John, of course. Nobody likes you, Farmer John. Nobody likes your corner. Hi there. John, it's not you. It's the fact that you always show up whenever there's a cliffhanger. It's just left a bad taste in my mouth for Farmer John. That's all I gotta say. Rivers and lakes and streams. I'm gonna teach you kids about cartography. <laughs> and then we're introduced to a new character. Uh, everybody, this is my neighbor, Mr. Budinsky. Get it? Because he butts in all the time. <laughs> anyway, this goes on for way too long. Let's just fast forward through it. A lot of stupid stuff is happening, as you can see here. And then we get to this car ride for some reason. And then we ended with the best joke ever. One telephone pole. Two telephone poles. Three telephone poles. Four telephone poles. Five telephone poles. Oh, six telephone poles. Seven telephone poles. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Donkey Ali, part two, journey to Jer road to Jerusalem, road to Damascus. That's the one. What's going to happen in part three? Will Donkey Ali ever find his way home? Will Paul realize that his hair is made out of bubble gum? Will Ali commit the cardinal sin of blaspheming the Holy Spirit? Find out next time when I review it, probably. If you guys want me to review it, maybe I'll review it. Who can know? That's all I've got to say for this week. Join me next time. Goodbye. Also, big shout out to Brendan Neely and BaileyProtestant.blogspot.com. Those guys pledge to my Patreon. I am grateful for their pledges that they give. If you're interested in being part of the creative team, then go over to Patreon.com slash Kev, and you can pledge whatever amount you'd like to pledge. It's always free to watch, but it is a big help for me to make even more of them if you pledge to the Patreon. And a lot of people over there do that, including the people who are down there and Brendan Neely and BaileyProtestant.blogspot.com. That's all I gotta say for today. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm Kevin. Good night. Say, uh, you're not the donkey that uh, got to carry Jesus, are you?